In this video, we take a look at the VRCC, a rank 6 premium at battle rating 9.0 for the Italian tech tree. Except that it's Spanish. Based on the 105mm Centauro, let's have a look at its features and then we'll take it into battle. First of all, let's start with the gun. It fires the very popular DM33 round with more than 400mm of penetration and great angle pen. Add to that an 8 to 12 times optic means that spotting enemies at long range is no problem at all. Oh, and it also has Gen 2 thermals, so there's no hiding from you. Strapped to the outside of the tank, you've got two MG42s, and of course a third one, strapped as a coaxial, but it's on the inside where the magic happens in this vehicle, 520 horsepower, weighing only 28 tons, giving us an alarming top speed on road and off road at 90 kilometers per hour. Don't listen to stat cards, kids. Your dad's Mustang isn't as fast as it says on the brochure. Now, just because automotive manufacturers lie about the performance of their vehicles doesn't mean this is a bad vehicle. It's actually very awesome, but it does have some shortcomings, which we'll talk about now. Armor-wise, it's not great. We've got 15 millimeters all round. Yes, you can be 50 killed to death in this thing, but you do have four crew members inside, giving you a little bit more survivability than you think. Some of this armor is space, keeping you safe from Hesh and high explosives. Our reload at 7.1 seconds is pretty good in fact, but our depression really lets us down at only 6 degrees, meaning fighting on death laid is pretty difficult. This vehicle also suffers from what I like to call Merkava syndrome because the front of the tank is so long you can't peek around corners without it getting shot, and if you decide to reverse and you take too much ammo, you can get ammo rigged very easily too. But because of your speed, because of your firepower, because of your thermal optics and everything else that's added in, this is an excellent flanker, especially for large open maps. Anyway, now you're familiarized with the VRCC, I'm going to be taking it out with the G91R4 to do some casts just in case we get killed. So let's get into battle and we'll see how we get on. Okay, bozos, we're on Sversk. It's a terrible map for a wheelie boy like this. This is the same syndrome as like uh, Merkava does. Where your kind of vital moving components are all stuck up front. And if we reverse out, um, I mean, we'll be okay in some scenarios, but if we reverse out to shoot at an enemy, generally our ammo's gonna get a hit or our transmission still. Or we get overpressured to death. But really, you wanna be on a big open map with something like this. So what we're gonna do instead, we're gonna crawl around the outside. What are we facing against, by the way? I forgot to check. Germany, China are my biggest worries. Anyone here? It don't look like anyone's here yet. We're also massive. The, the Centauro is colossal. It's a big boy. I hear a scout drone somewhere. A reload is not great on this either, is it? I could have tried to scout that guy through the building, but I don't think it would have gone very well. To the garages. My teammate's on BB, he doesn't know he's in peril. It's not good. I wasn't sure what I just hit there instead of the tank, but probably some concrete or something. Concrete. At least my teammate knows that guy's in the corner now. Oh my goodness. Oh. My teammates seem to have this whole side of the map covered right now. But that missile just whizzed past me, I think is this PTL maybe. I'm definitely scouted. Okay. He's not going to be shooting at us anytime soon, I don't think. Right. I'd still like to know whether or not that was the dude who was the missile past me. There's a jet up. Another wheelie boy. Let's get around here. I hate Sverse that it's pretty boring to play because you can't do any good flanks so or you're entirely exposed from everywhere. 
Now we got away with it here. Luckily enough. Poor, poor child. What else have we got in here? There's a guy behind me. Okay. I guess we're going back around then. Oh, he's behind the SU-25. Sergei. He's dead. There's not much left. I don't know where the heck they all are then. What is this guy? Not like that. I think if I drive out here, we're definitely going to die. Oh, this guy's helping his teammate. The he's. How many SPAs are there? Okay, my teammate got the PGZ. Without a miss. Is what is even happening over here? Gepard just died back there too. I don't think the enemy team is going to do very well. The rest of this match. It's a Leo. Oh my god, will you die? Where are we going here? Okay. <laughs> we are p 40 Oh, I killed an odd boss guy. Well, let's go, G91. Right, Habibi. Oh, there's quite a few enemies left. We might get a game out of this yet. I got greedy for that Leo, but I think that P40 would have killed me no matter what. I no idea why our F80 and MiG 15s all the way out here. Oh, they're chasing the P40. Oh, someone's on C cap. I'm seeing a. Uh... Yep, okay, never mind. I was going to say I see a shadow over there, but he's gone. Are you on the fountain? Yes, he is on the fountain. Was on the fountain. Didn't get the cap, thankfully. Let's pull off here and we'll go for the guys that are disturbing my PT-7657. Apparently, I killed an F-80. I think I flew too close to the sun with a... Nord. Right, let's get out of here before I get parts bonds in. I see another thing there. Come here, dude. What is that, actually? A BMP-1. He might die to this light tank because he's not stabilised, right? Don't touch my squad, mate. Oh, damn it. <laughs> oh, I killed the oddballs guy again. And another heavy boy back there. No jets here. Are you going to spawn a Gepard now? Is my heavy tank having a hard time with this guy? Nope. No, he is not. And down he goes, dude. Down he goes. I'm looking for planes. Oh, a Rui cat. I see him. Wait, I got somebody out of his... Hull front, possibly driver. He's heading towards. That's actually not a Roy cat, that's a Chinese. Wheeled boy. I'm gonna really struggle to kill that guy. One, I don't have enough ammunition. Oh, hey. This is my job now.
Oh, he may have just been clapped. Oh, yeah, he is. I'm going to sit on his six. Get off my teammate. Okay. He's getting no tail control. Hopefully I don't get the kill for that. Okay, good. I don't want to steal the kill, but I also don't want my A4E to die. So I had to aim for his <laughs> tail to make sure I didn't nick it. Oh, yeah. I'm going to come around this way and get rid of this chopper, hopefully. Slow us right down so I've got enough time on my guns. That was embarrassing, odd was. Really embarrassing. Get me for He's all yours. There we go. Good. Right. What's this guy on B now? Is that him tucked in the corner? Sure is. Engine's out. I don't have much ammo left. I'm I'm backing up, dude. I'm backing up. I'm I'm going in for it, dude. I'm going in for it. <laughs> okay, he, he's in deep trouble now. Let's go back in another one. Try and get to this A cap. But I don't know where the Roy cat is. That's the thing. I don't know where he's at, dude. Because he's definitely quite close to A somewhere. If we die, we die. It's my IT one shooting that. Yo, nice patches. Damn. Right, the guy on B is gone. That's what we like to see. It's looking good. A wee bit off. My teammate's cabin the point, so that missile changed direction. I'm gonna have to go a little bit further left than that. There goes the, uh, <laughs> there goes the heli. M60. Starship just got him. Is it this... Is it the Sterog guy that's... The Rui cat? I think he just shot at our IT-1. Where is he? Behind this house? I'll get scouted. I missed this barrel. Nice, okay. I think that's that though. It got a bit uh, hairy in the end, but we did it. It is really hard to find things to shoot at sometimes with this BR and higher. <laughs> I'll give him a thank you for that. Good go, master. There goes a the kugel. And that's game, dude. GG. Not bad. Good first match. Okay, dude, we got spaceport. I'm actually going to go this way. And I'm going to try and go down the river side. Get a bit of speed built up. Go between A and B. This might be very risky because our gun's going to be extremely unstable <laughs> flying down this road. Well, dirt. But we should be able to hit 90. I would imagine. We're getting there. And our stabilizer is no longer working. I 
Head chase is like the perfect speed to keep our stabilizer going. Someone machine gunning over this way. I think this is a really stupid idea, but it may pay off. There goes a WME. We got a nice scout on that guy. And now... We're on quite a strong position to wreak some havoc, I think. Is that a TAM? It was a TAM. The only thing, the problem we're going to have is getting shot from the other side. We need to bash this guy. Oh. Unless he does that. Oh, it's a chaffy. Oh my god, everyone's just dying as I look at them. Well, this has been embarrassing so far. I've managed to not kill a Chaffee or an M113. I don't know how you're not dead. He is now. Is that guy trying to cross? Oh, here comes another. M missiles flying now. Ah, damn. I've, I shouldn't really be moving from where I am, but... Oh, hey. I don't have a shot on him. Goodbye, Chaffee. I'm sorry, little guy. This guy never realised where that Chaffee got hit from. I haven't been shot from behind yet either, which is unusual. That guy wants to go a little bit further forward. He's, he's dying. Be very surprised if he loves the snug shot. Then you have enemies. Some sort of tank destroyer is. Wait. There's a light tank in front of me somewhere? I saw him scare a second ago. Well, that's bizarre. I'm gonna go have a look. Oh yeah, okay. He's at the other side of the hill. And this guy's still up here. Was that a murder? I think it's a murder. I can see his aerials. Oh dear. They're bringing out children as respawns. So his scout target has been destroyed. And there's a helicopter. He's dead. A jet here as well. I'm gonna wait till this helicopter's dealt with or he runs out of ammo. No one this way. He's bingo. He's gone, dude. <clears throat> okay, a Veek would have absolutely melted me if he was paying attention. All right, we're gonna go over this way now. Because we need the sea cap now, right? We're only on three kills and the enemy team is pretty much all but dead. It looks like we're in cover. I've got that T-55 by me anyway, so we're safe. So you would think anyway. Still quite a few left. I really don't hear or see anyone. <laughs> Loading Besh. Oh, 
Right. Where where is Where are the guys in Cab C? A T55 shooting in something over here, but I don't know what. Ah. I've spotted one, but I'm probably gonna get shot from behind. Oh my god. The depressions. Right. I think we're okay now. Except from the right, the left side, sorry. Okay. WMA's just killed a teammate. That's not him there. That's him there. So, I... Oh, there's another one here too, look. Right, don't touch the cab yet, boss. Don't let them know where you are. Another chopper. I really want to get this WMA. He's gone around the side of our spawn to shoot into it. Might be getting killed here. Oh, the Alouette is dead. Where are you going, cheeky boy? Right, let's go back around now. Before I get missled. Another chopper's coming. Me going to this cab is a big mistake, but there's not much else we can do. There's too many choppers and stuff around. I may as well try and get some more of the objective done. IT1 has survived another missile, which I'm not surprised about at all. Something fired at me. The helicopter's leaving. And we're good. Mobility has saved the day. I'm gonna let my team make this. Okay, Falcon. I have to say that's quite remarkable. Now we're good, dude. We got seven kills and managed to decap a cap. Oh, we are a enemy spotted. I'm gonna to die to this guy, but the match is quite boring now anyway, so it's not a big deal. Got our track ammo. It's here, right? What are you aiming for for the rest of the crew? There we go. I don't know why he didn't fire at me. Without a miss. Okay, two choppers left. And something on the ground, maybe. More missiles coming in from helicopters. My Falcon Jedi. I've not seen anything alive. This is just top tier in a nutshell, really. Can't believe I missed that. Come on, big guy. There we go. Okay, we got an assist for that. Hi! Okay then. Well, there you go. That should give us quite a good bout of silver lions, I would imagine. ZTZ just killed my teammate in a T55 over here as well. Oh, it was you? Oh no, we are 100% dead here. <laughs> I didn't notice him. I thought I might be a dead guy, but there you go. I died in the end. <laughs> I think he's the last one alive. Anyway, that's GG. Oh my goodness, that it is a heavy rain. Damn. Uh, I want to get some speed on this road and then head out to the right. At least this OF4 is kind of got the same idea. We're maybe in danger here, by the way. This could be a stupid idea, but it is what it is. If we can get around to this right side, we can do a little bit of trolling, but if not, uh, we are just going to die immediately. It's one or the other. 
Okay, we're a quick scout there, that's good. Okay, that guy's not gonna be able to shoot at me, which is... I mean... Pretty good for me, honestly. That guy missed his missile, thank god. And now, I should be roughly in the clear. If I can just keep going. Oh, there's a guy at the top of the hill. <gasps> okay. Oh, uh, RIP teammate. He tried. Anyone over here? Oh, there's a light and a medium tank over here. Okay, I got this loader, but... He's still got 50 cows. Is it an XM1 or what? Can't make it out in the rain. Did, is that? Oh, the guy's on sea and smoke. Oh, brother man, I'm scared. He's not going to be a problem for me right now, but this guy will be, so... Okay, he bounced me. My armor saved me. Right, I, I kind of need to get this seeker, but... We're dead. I am too, too low down. I missed him. Okay. I'm trying to escape. BMP2M, I think, or something. Or just a BMP2, maybe. Have my driver's now injured and I'm dragging a wheel. And we're on a cap. Good news, everyone. Don't see anybody down here. Oh. If I drove up a little bit more, I would, but I might get shot from the other side. I'm risking it. One down, but there's another one. Now I've got Arty getting dropped on me. I think my man's... Yeah, he, he could have killed me easy, but... He was a bit slow. Okay, cannon barrel, cannon breach is good. Uh oh. I've survived another missile somehow. It's time to reverse. <laughs> I think this space armor will save me more than I'll ever know. Is this got is this Mex's tiles as well as on this thing? Wait, that dude's repairing back there. I don't know what happened to our BMP. It was shooting at us earlier. Oh. <laughs> we got, we did get helicoptered. This guy got anti-air missiles? No, he doesn't. Right, okay, dude, let's go, G91. This is looking good for us now, by the way, on the map side of things. We got a good spread, but we are on the easy side of the map, so... Right, I'm gonna have a real hard time... I've seen someone there, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, we have. He is doomed. My depth perception is a bit wonky though. Oh, it was an M64. The guy, the guy who shot me on this side, was that the M64? Oh yeah, keep shooting that. Where are you? Oh, thank you. If you didn't do that, I would never be able to see you, dude. I appreciate it. <laughs> right, let's get out of here. Uh oh. My G91's going after the heli. And I think... Oh, yeah, he's dead. I think that SPA was trying to shoot him as well. ADN-33. No, thank you. What is that? Those are really high velocity. 
my G91 is about to attack him though. It's a DCA. That is not good. I'm pretty scared of that thing. He's dead though. And so is this other guy. I think that G91 must have shot his gunner out. Friendly jet? Nah, this game. That's quite a slow one, but it's just that that's how it goes. So I actually really like this thing. It's at 9.0, which is a really competitive BR for it. The DM33 is excellent. The thermals are good. The reload is decent. It's super fast. And compared to the US Wolfpack that we uh, reviewed like a couple of days ago, you should check that video out if you haven't already. Um, this thing's 9.7. And technically has a worse APFS DS round. The only difference being it's got a remote turret, but it's still massive. So it gets killed quite a lot. So this thing being 9.7 and this thing being 9.0 seems a little bit imbalanced for certain reasons, but you know, it is worth under. Italy does deserve vehicles that aren't over tiered, to be honest. So this is a really nice addition for the Tech Tree and the best grinder that you can buy currently for the Italian Tech Tree. You won't go and mess with this thing for sure. I know there's the 105 Chintoro here. This thing doesn't has, have as good thermals. Um, although being almost identical in every way. You've got the Leo 1A5. And then you can even take it to 9.3 with the Dardo. The, there's a lot of possibilities. This is in a good spot. I'm going to give it a solid 8.1 out of 10 for where it is at 9.0. I think that's pretty good. If you enjoyed this video, if you found it informative, please like the video. It would help the channel out a lot. Something really nasty happened yesterday with YouTube's algorithm. I don't know what's going on. It happened to myself and Fly. So the more likes we get, the more comments we get, uh, the more we'll recover from it. If you're looking to buy something from the War Thunder store, make sure you use my link in the description or in the pinned comment. If you've already got my decal, you're looking at another creator's decal, go ahead and use theirs. Get that 3% off, get that free decal. Uh, all those little things add up for other creators and myself. Uh, so it's what well, well, no, it's worthwhile using. To everyone who supports me over on Discord and Patreon, thank you guys very much. To all the tier threes who get a shout out on both platforms, that's Miss Lita, Toast McGee, Sexy White Wolf, Icarus, Audible Bo, Bofe, Destari, Fearless Germ, Frost, Jimmy, Rusty, Stoy, and Toggle. When a train sounds like a clock, and Zig, I have no idea what that riddle is. Not not a clue this time, I'm afraid. Anyway, to everyone over on Patreon that supports me, that's Sickness Win, Matthew S, Eric Fear, Jesse Mills, Paul Hendricks, Tackle Guy, FTN Watermelon, Shane McGuire, Ahenius, Anderson Win, Brandon aka The Flying Pickle, Ethan Excavation Nation, Handsome Dottia, Kinder Soul Lord, Coil Bittany, Ralph, Rage, Tactonic, Tanks Gone Wild, Vanny and Warpig, Shaft, Mortan and Stoy and J Tommy, David Pyrophoric Schmoo, and the one, the only Rosalini. And to everyone else still here, thank you very much for watching. Much love, and bye bye.